and the date is March 14th. You remember that date? Because from tomorrow morning on and the first good wind, good weather, clear sky day, the crew is sailing for Tahiti. I'd like to say good morning to another crew member and a guy that I've known uh, a little while here. Uh, good morning, Eddie. Uh, yes. Yes, Kimo. Good morning, Kimo. Uh, Eddie, of course, uh, the Aikau family has been famous here in the islands. Uh, uh, for, of course, surfing and getting involved in different sports and everything. And, and any you were selected for this crew. Tell the little, uh, the people who don't, you know, don't know about you, a little bit about your past. We, you know, what school you went to and uh, uh, what you've been doing. Yeah, we, uh, um, my family and I came from uh, island of Maui and uh, we moved here in 1958 and uh, being a family of uh, six uh kids and my dad and mom uh, my parents felt uh, there was not a enough income coming in to uh, take care of family of six so we moved here in 58 and my dad worked as a stevedore on the docks here in Honolulu and and we all went to school uh, uh, here and uh, so we've come to, uh, my family have come a long way and uh, it's been a hard struggle for all of us, uh, because uh, I think that when you start from the bottom uh, uh, and then you w you work your way up, I think that you appreciate as you get older, you appreciate more because you know how it was struggling and trying to trying to get. Uh, what money you can get, and and it was hard. Keep it all together. Yeah. And so, and and now, just before you got involved with Hokulea, what were you doing? Uh, before before I got involved with Hokulea, uh, I got involved with Hokulea two years ago, and uh, and before I got involved with Hokulea two years ago, uh, I've been wor working as a city and county lifeguard here in Honolulu. Right on. Uh, down at the, uh, which, which beaches? Uh, I work on the North Shore. North Shore had a heavy surf right on it. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of people out of that water out there at the North Shore, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of uh, tourists and servicemen and and also uh, uh, a lot of uh, local people that live here. Uh, it's amazing then how many uh people that live on Oahu really don't know their own waters out there and uh we've pulled uh, a lot of uh of uh local people out there and um and uh you know it's uh I'm not sure it's probably if it's not the uh worst or hazardous condition in the world it's got to be because it 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 takes even one life it takes you know, for every winter, if it takes one, it's uh, it's 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 taking too much because uh, life is priceless. Life you cannot buy. And to me, to see people come out, and especially from the tourists from the mainland, it's uh, it's not a good thing to see because life you cannot buy with money. And right, and and this has been your job, of course, to get, to get in there and to. Uh, to work to save people, and then you got involved with Hokulea now two years ago, and uh, this was uh, with the original crew. Uh, yes, Kimo. Okay, and what? Uh, yes, you know, you've been kind of uh, keeping involved and, and working toward the Hokulea. When did you actually find out that you wanted to be a part of the crew? Actually, really, you know, to sail maybe to sail to Tahiti. Well, uh, like I said, Kimo, I was involved two years ago when the. Uh, Hokulea was, uh, uh, right after she was uh, uh, built and she was uh, put uh, into sea. Uh, uh, and, um, and you worked on the crew uh, at that time? Helped yeah, I uh, was uh, sail training uh -huh. uh, off of uh, Oahu here and uh, we... Uh, and then we, uh, I sailed with, I think, if not most of the original crew that took Hokulea down to Tahiti, most of it, we sailed from Makua Cave on Makaha side of Oahu, and we took Hokulea to 
the north side of uh, Kauai, Hanalei, mm. and we came in there. Right now, it's 10 minutes before 8 o'clock in the islands. Tuesday morning, March 14th, Kimo and the new crew of Hokulea. Yes, last week I talked to Jerry Muller and, of course, the captain of Hokulea last week, Friday, uh, David Lyman. And now we have some of the crew members. And, uh, of course, Eddie Aikau of the Aikau family, uh, a name that uh, has been connected with water sports and surfing uh, all over the islands for, uh, you know, uh, many, many years, and so we want to share with uh, our, you folks out there a special song written by Eddie, and it's for the Hokulea. Go ahead, Eddie. I would like to uh, dedicate this song to to everybody that 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 helped uh, uh, build Hokulea, and uh, everybody that got involved with uh, Hokulea. Wherever you may be, and um, and what made me inspired to write the song was to uh, hear and see people uh, every day. And as for the last month now, we've been working on Hokulea, and cars uh, would be going by where we got Hokulea docked down at uh, Pier 12, and and people tuning their horn and giving us their aloha and and. To see people and feel, it made me write this song and, and the feeling of, of people, wherever you may be on Maui, the Big Island, wherever you are in Hawaii, how you feel about our hokulea. And this song goes out to all Hawaii in heart from the, from the new family of hokulea that we take her down to Tahiti. We ask your blessings and your aloha go with us. Hey, right on, Eddie. I want to thank you for sharing your time with us. 
Eddie. Eddie Aikau. Beautiful, bro. Thank you very much, huh? Okay, Kimo. Aloha and, and thank you. Mahalo.